All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while, but we're back with the whole cast. You know what? It, yeah, it's been a while. It's been like, what, like five months since we've done one of these? But as always, it is the Trinity cast, so there's three of us. Me, Chase, Unknown, who's for some reason in the mood today. Say hi, everybody. Howdy. Oh, you want me to interrupt you that time? Fuck you. I do it on my own terms. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So, it's been a while since we've done this before. Uh, anything new with you guys' lives? I mean... I'm new music. New music? What type? New music. Unlike anything that you listen to. Okay, I've been listening to a lot of Japanese music. And actually, one of my friends, she got me into uh, like classical music, you know? So, that's been okay. nice. I mean, what, Chase, what's your take on classical music? I don't really care for it's more or less a mood if anything ah that's fair that's how i view it i mean no it's... that's a lie <laughs> why do you say that's a lie and then you feel like you as i pop open my sprite why why do you think chase is lying <laughs> why the fuck did he say open a sprite i don't know i mean i just opened it but people yeah, wondering sprite what i drink cranberry is that shit bussin i hate that word bussin there's only a few words i hate Whenever some kid goes, I'm cracked. Fuck that shit. It's annoying. Also, a re reason I said why why that would be a lie when she said, uh, fucking, what the fuck? He said, oh, no, I don't, I, it's for a mood. Like, no, motherfucker, you're going to play that music and you know when you're going to play it. Yeah, no, for me, it's just, I had my first taste of it, uh, actually, the, uh, yesterday, when uh, my friend, she played the violin for me. She was really good. It was nice. Chase, she Chase, you, you want to know what song I'd play when... I'm doing a girl. What song would you like to play if you're doing a girl? Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. The question is, would you be on sync with the beat? Dude, that'd be a tough oh, beat. Hell yeah. <laughs> that'd be a tough beat to do it to. God damn. Like, at first <laughs> no, it's slow. It. <laughs> at first it, was, no. it starts off slow, but then it starts going harder and harder. So, like, can you keep up with that? Because I feel like at first Hell the girl yeah. would be unamused. She'd be like, he's going in slow to keep up with it. But then when it goes... Okay, I'll sing alongside while I'm doing it. What are you, how are you going <laughs> to... <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know about you guys, but... I hit every single beat when I'm having sex while I'm listening to Baby Shark. Oh my god. Okay. Do, do you have a headboard, Chase? That's how you make the babies, Chase. Oh god. Do you have a headboard? Yeah, it's a metal one. Why? Yeah, because I heard this thing where it's just like, guys, like, when they're, like I'm a virgin, so I wouldn't fucking know laugh at me if you will. But if you're about to say a pillow and the headboard, yes, it works. No, I'm not about to say pillow with the headboard. Apparently, guys try to compete or, like, they match the beat of the fucking headboard. So every single time their head is bumping, it's same as the headboard, just they're on tune. And it's just well for me i've had to be quiet during sex almost every time so i usually put a pillow there chase i don't think i've actually asked you this question i know you've had sex before but what is your body count as of right now plus as of gabby right now. plus gat uh, i i guess get well gabby's the newest one so seven seven wait i thought you were wait was wasn't gabby the one that catfished you no, 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 that was the wrong Gabby. What the fuck was her? I forgot her name. Deborah. Deborah, Deborah. was her name. <laughs> Deborah, dude, fucking Deborah. That's like an old person name. I feel or like an I know. Name. That's what I thought. So Deborah. Too. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Get over here, Deborah. Uh, like shit about to do my taxes. Mm. Oh my god, fuck that bitch. So how'd you meet Gabby? You know what? Oh, how'd I meet Gabby? Tinder. Tinder. Ah, uh, Tinder. Oh my god. Oh, he meets both of his women. See here, hold on. Let me go on Tinder real quick. I've only gotten a few matches on Tinder, and every single time I'll like send a message, they either reply once and then just not talk to me and not unmatch me. They'll just leave me. Like, let's see here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have like six people that have like matched with me, but they don't respond, and I'm just like, all right, that sucks. But no, I don't know. Right now, I'm not, do I'm not looking for anything right now. Uh, I just deleted Tinder. I'm just gonna chill for a yeah. little bit. I mean, like, I'm actually looking for a relationship, so uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Okay. I mean, I currently like someone. Uh, I already what guys are told you? you. Let's see. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I mean, like, there's something about having a crush in high school that, you know what? I feel like as an adult, it's going to be, like, you don't have crushes. You just see someone across the bar and be like, I want you. So it's just, and then you just see where it goes. Well, now, well Unknown doesn't know anything about that because he doesn't go to bars. Actually, Unknown, how no. did you meet your six girlfriends? 
Well, you, you, most of them are on the internet. Okay. Well, actually, that. It's like, I don't know, it's just like random encounters. Like, I don't want to fucking put it like, oh no, it's like an anime fucking thing. Like, well, yes, but no. It's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, fucking. For example, like, Alondra. Fucking. Ah, oh, dude. I met her, like, at a library, for example. A library? Fucking. Ugh. Yeah. Dude. Oh, fucking. It was when I was younger, more or less. It, fucking. <laughs> you went there, to fucking... a Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Barnes and Nobles <laughs> to pick up women. I feel like that's how you pick up a cow. Well, actually, uh, actually, fun fact: I've never been inside a Barnes and Noble. Really, never. I have one here, so if you ever come down, I'll have to take you. See, that, that sounds like you're trying to set up a date. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind if he's paying. I mean, it's attached club. to a giant ass mall that has good ass food. So, ah, oh, dude, I've been craving something fucking like. I don't I fucking I'm craving like Italian all day today. Italian really? Oh shit, I just I mean, realized y'all come over. Yeah. If if y'all come over, we could have a date with Phelan. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Phelan, I feel like as soon as he sees me, he's like, you know all those jokes you made? I'm gonna murder you right now. <laughs> just pound me to the fucking ground. Oh uh, no, dude, I'll go in. What the fuck? That's the shit. Oh, no, Phelan's I'm a little bit bigger than me. Belly wise, but Oh, belly um, wise. I mean, I mean, by, by, by how, by based on how he looks from his fucking part. No, we're about the same height. That's, that's a given. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, Chase, I've seen you and I've seen Fail, and fucking, of course, Fail has a bigger belly than you. The fuck? I'll be honest. You guys have looked different over the years, because like, what's it called? Phelan's profile picture and the way he looks now. I don't know why he looks a bit different. And same with you, Chase. When I first met you, and what you look like now, you look different. Well, it's because fucking Chase actually has hair. Chase is a hairy man. He, he, any single ladies in like listening to this? I doubt it. Yeah. Why the fuck would like, a single fucking, lady be listening to this? Fucking but yeah. Chase during his fucking high school, his fucking bitch ass was smooth as fuck. What? What? Like, are you yeah, dude. Are you talking oh, about hair? hair? Oh, with hair. Oh, okay, with hair. I yeah, thought you were talking wise. about like, like with the women. Hair I was like, dude, in high school, I was like radioactive. <laughs> Chase, Chase was oblivious, like he, like nowadays. How do you think he was in high school? Some girl comes up to him saying, like, you're so fucking high. It's like, oh, wow, what a nice girl. I feel like that's how oblivious fucking Chase is sometimes. He still is oblivious, the fuck? Oh, yeah, no, I never said he's not. I mean, it's just, it's funny, because we'll be in parties, and we'll be hearing girls be like, Chase, your voice is so hot. And it's like, oh, thank you. And then when, like, she leaves the party, we're like, Chase, do you know what the fuck just happened? It's like, no. What the fuck? What? Like, yeah, just lady. what? I'm trying to game. <laughs> like, what's that one TikTok person who, like, uh, he, he made the meme where it's like, hey, do you want to play Super Smash? And then I have an extra controller and he just goes into the, like, girl's apartment. It's like, yeah, I love Super Smash. It's like, oops, looks like, uh, I don't have the controller. We're going to have to find something else to do. He just charges to the door and starts trying to fucking open it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's Chase sometimes. Like, if he's, like, playing For Honor, she's just like, I play For Honor. He's like, let's play together. All of a sudden, fucking no For Honor. He's like, all right. Nah, there's a flaw in that. For Honor is not split screen. That's true. For Ooh. Honor is not split screen. I mean, Speaking of games, Chase, Azumaru, Lopunny, and Diggersby are more likely to appear in Max Raid's battles. And they're also a 1 in 12 chance of being shiny. I like how yeah. you guys are talking about Pokemon when I don't have the fucking game. Well, stop being poor. Stop being- okay, um, fuck you. Not my fault we can't <laughs> all get paid to sit on our ass p playing a Nintendo fucking Switch. Yugi, you wanna talk about the specs on your laptop? Or your PC? <laughs> um, alright, you know what, you yeah. got me there. You yeah. got me there, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Yo, my old liquid cooling just broke. I gotta go buy another one. <laughs> I mean, the liquid cooling that I have in is, uh, it's quite nice. You know, it's keeping my PC warm and yeah, so... how much did it cost? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, eat my ass. Yeah, no, no, thank you. I'll save that for one of your six girlfriends. But, uh, what's it called? There was some... I mean, there's enough room for you. Jesus fucking Christ, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. What was that laugh, Chase? What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, Jesus Christ. I'm just kind of laying down and chilling. Here's a good question. Do you guys remember Pokemon. your first kiss? Yep. Yep. How yep. was it? My first kiss was awkward, awkward. as fuck. Awkward? Oh. Okay. See, my first kiss wasn't... Okay. How old do you count a first kiss? Because apparently my mother tells this story to embarrass me. I was making out with a bitch under a table like in kindergarten. 
I think freshman year high school is when you can officially say oh. it was a first kiss. Really? Freshman yeah. year? I feel like eighth grade middle school can count as a first kiss. That's basically a freshman. No. Okay, yeah, what Chase, is trying to, what Chase is trying to say is like a first kiss, but like the intention of wanting to kiss. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. The actual, I guess, first kiss that I had, it wasn't Like knowing what a first. kiss is and then yeah. doing so. For me, it wasn't awkward at first, but it, it's the word she said right after that made it so fucking awkward. I've told you guys this story before because I literally biked down to her aunt's house because she lived, uh, her aunt's house was like right next to my house. And I was there. We hung out for a bit. I ate dinner. The food her aunt made was disgusting. I stomached it down because that's, dude, I hate like going to like girlfriend's parents houses because like a the dads are not gonna like you b like if you stay for dinner if they make something you don't like you're just like eating and like fucking kill me right now this is disgusting but you put on a straight mm -hmm. face because you don't want to give be them a reason to like you exactly like have either one of you been in that position where you just go to dinner with like their family and like you pretend to like the food they cooked not no really. what the fuck really? Dude, I literally. Oh, and food is food. I'll eat it. Her aunt made this disgusting soup, and I, I pray to Jesus she doesn't hear this because I'm pretty sure she knows I do this. So <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna mention you by name, but yeah, your aunt yeah. made some disgusting ass soup. But she made a homemade rice krispie treat that I went to town on. That was delicious. But uh, after all that, we decided to go for a walk outside. You know, her grandmother had some horses. She like petted the horse, and then uh, she was just like, "Hey, I've never had my first kiss, have you?" And then me. Like a little kid, just oh, that made it sound so weird. I'll, like I said, I made out with a bitch under the, the table in kindergarten. I decided to lie. I was like, nope, never kissed a girl. Which I don't, cause like I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, I've kissed a woman. Be like, oh, her be like, who? I'm jealous and shit like that. So that was my like thought process. But she kept on hinting that she wanted her first kiss. So I'm like, okay, close your eyes. I have a surprise for you. And then she I wanted you as a first kiss. The fuck? <laughs> Hey man, I was a cute kid. I mean, like I was rocking a bull haircut. Like I feel like I look good with it. <laughs> right? Uh, a bull haircut. What the fuck? Oh my god. I That's mean, the first mistake you. Hey, but I still managed to pull a bitch. That's the thing. I still managed to get I'm not, not by your own intention. <laughs> no, no, no. It was my own intention. Like it was like we didn't announce ourselves as boyfriend as and girlfriend. She's in my vocab right now. Until like. A year like we had like a thing like we knew we had a crush on each other but like uh like i don't know I, I guess i was a bit of a pussy and i didn't like ask her to be my girlfriend until like later on so oh <laughs> funny story I'm pretty sure she tried to make me jealous this one time because she's like yeah no i do have a crush on this one person named chaz and oh my god chaz used to be my fucking homie but then like i remember we were in gym oh. class i eyed him up and down I was like how oh, the fuck dude, does I she like chaz, chaz. Fuck i it. fucking hated him <laughs> yeah no and then, then motherfucker just, would always try to Ojama lock me down. Oh, Ch Chaz! Oh my God, Jesus Christ! But yeah, no. But no, I gave her her first kiss then and there because she kept on hinting at it. And right after we finished the kiss, she's like, "Well, this is awkward now." Like, why the fuck would you say that? We just had like a moment right there, but you say now this is awkward. Get the fuck out of here. So I feel like my first kiss wouldn't have been awkward if she didn't say that. But I feel like it wasn't too awkward compared to other people's first kiss. Because like a lot of people don't even know how to kiss. Which I'm sorry. If you don't know how to kiss, pr practice on your fucking pillow. I don't know. Pillows make out. F I don't know. I've never tried. How, all right, you, you, how did you practice? If I'm being honest, I've never practiced kissing. Mm -mm. Apparently, I, like, not to sound too cocky or anything like that, uh, apparently I'm decent, like, I, I'm good, because, um, uh, this one girl, uh, she just, she, she literally brought up her ex-boyfriend, and we were literally making out, and she's like, Jesus Christ, you're better than my ex-boyfriend, I'm like, this is a strange time to bring up an ex-boyfriend, but alright. How do you flex about kissing? Like, what the fuck? No, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't like to kiss that much. Really? Is that weird? I mean, yeah, I think it's fucking weird. I mean, like, kissing is, like, I feel like kissing leads to things. I mean, that's how, like, that, I feel like that. How well, of course up. it does, but I just, I don't get any pleasure out of it. Really? None? I don't get any. Like, it doesn't get me erect. Just, I don't know. Kissing just doesn't do it for me. Until she kisses your it's dick. not enough foreplay for you, Chase, is it? Oh, no. Until she starts to, like, grab my dick, I'm like, mm. Now we're talking. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, for me, it's just what like when I start kissing someone, I, I start to get nervous. Like I'll try not to get it in my head, but I'm like, oh shit, this person actually likes me. So it's just like I don't know. I enjoy kissing. I think it's quite nice because like, I've said this before. Uh, I'm I'm a relationship type person. I'd like to cuddle up with someone, watch a movie, and just ma- maybe make out a bit. I don't know. It doesn't have to lead to sex. So I don't know. I like kissing. It's what? nice. What? What? I'm sorry. I don't know, just Yugi things. No, it's virgin things, because I'm pretty sure there's, like, virgins out there by choice, because I, I feel like I'm a virgin by choice. Like, I could easily go out to, like, some mm. party. And... <laughs> don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, buddy. No, I, okay. I, can, I can literally go out to well, a party, find like... some person, and just decide to sleep with them. But, like, no, 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 that's not me, because I, like, I feel like I'll regret it. And, uh, you know, I want my first time, like, I'm not going to be like, I want my first time to be magical. No, I just want it to be there like. There is a difference between being virgin by choice and being very picky. Yeah. Okay. I feel like my standards have lowered down. I mean, honestly. No, they haven't. I don't, no, like, they have not. What do you mean, no, they have not? Like, they have, haven't? No, I feel like my standards no. have lowered down. And, like, I, I don't stick to just valley girls. I hope you know that. Oh, no, you still do. I mean, like, yes. Yeah, well, I how, forgot how, that's what he liked was Valley Girls. What a fucking cringe yeah. moment. <laughs> I mean, dude, you gotta admit, something about a girl with blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, so you're an Aryan race, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. He's an airhead race. Awkward. Uh, Yeah, for those people who don't know, that's just his ringtone. He's not actually fucking beating his meat while we're all talking together. That'd be, that'd be fucking weird. Which, if Chase, you do want to talk about beating meat to voices, you can. Um, I mean, I have had at least ten people now, guys and well, well <laughs> guys and yeah. girls, <laughs> have, yeah. uh, have jerked it to my voice. Yeah, is that one of them right now? Which is a you? little weird. You know, no, I don't know who the fuck is like. That might be Twitter, actually. Twitter. Uh, okay then. Yeah, uh, Twitter uh, and Pokemon Go. Oh, okay then. Yeah, no, it's strange. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. That's a raid battle. I got invited to. <laughs> As Chase goes, be a virgin to Pokemon Go, I think. What's it called? <gasps> Unknown, have you ever had someone, like, fucking masturbate to your voice? Yes. Yes? What's your opinion on it? Because for me, the first time it happened to me, I thought it was very strange. It was... I mean, I'm fine with mm. it. It's just, for me, I'm more of, like, a physical and visual kind of person oh yeah no i agree it's just that um for me it was without my consent this person decided to mute themselves and then they went to town and the only way i found out about it is when like everyone was talking like why are they on mute and i texted on them on sounds like why are you on mute i got this whole fucking video and i was like oh god no oh please no and ever since then i'm just like okay I'm not, okay, buddy. Yeah. Okay. But for me, it's only happened like once or twice. So Chase has gotten the whole fucking thing. And it's just, oh, God. It's just, what do you even say? Because th- then you know your voice is attractive. Like, if you have to speak to those people on a daily to day basis, you just, you kind of just don't want to talk. You're just like, fuck. I don't want, I don't want them to be in the mood. I don't want to wreck it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is about voices. I mean, it's the same thing about hands. Like, I've been told I have attractive hands, and it's just, I don't understand it. Because, like, I, I, like, that was a bit of a stutter. Uh, apparently, there was some research done on why people have, like, foot fetishes, and, like, kind of, like, there's some part of the brain that's, like, kind of, like, that puts feet and, like, attraction together. Like, they're kind of close, so if something gets fucked up, they just get mixed together, and then all of a sudden, you have someone who has a foot fetish. But I don't understand the whole hands thing. So you're calling foot fetish people weirdos. No, I'm not calling them weirdos. Or mentally, mentally retarded. No, I'm not calling them mentally retarded. It's just, apparently that's what happens. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to use that word anymore, which, uh, that's a little something. But, uh... What, retarded? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, uh, yeah, no. Actually, unknown, uh, since you're the one who said this whole foot fetish thing, I, w- I don't call them weirdos. You it's... were the one who said it. What the fuck? No, 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 no. You said, like, are you calling them god. weirdos? I'm not calling them weirdos. I'm just saying it's... I don't know. It's not for me. Oh, I don't have a foot fetish. Nothing. Oh, no. What about you? Do you have a foot fetish? No. We've gone through this before. You have a foot fetish with how much you fall on a certain someone's fucking speed. Wait, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> someone's speed? No. You have a foot fetish with how much you comment on someone's feed 
Feed? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're not gonna go. No, I do not have a foot fetish. I do not. But you could. <laughs> I mean, anyone could have a foot fetish. You never know. I mean, like, would you fuck feet? Both of you. Just. Let, I'm not saying you have to have a foot fetish for that, but, like, let's say your girl was into it. She's, like, saying, fuck my feet. Would you do it? Yeah. I've done it. You've done it. You fuck feet. Mm hmm. <laughs> Regular sex gets boring. <laughs> Regular sex. All right, on a scale of one to ten, how was it? Uh, an eight. An eight? See, I hope you know this is gonna be the. Th all right, we, we got our title now. Chase fucks feet, all caps, exclamation marks. Okay. Um, what the fuck? That's the title. But I mean, I, what other title do we have? Well, see, listen, I tried it just to see if I liked it. I mean, apparently you did. You rated it an eight out of ten. Also, she. <sighs> I don't know, man. This is gonna make me sound weird. She did something with her toes, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> What do you mean she did something with her toes? Like, what? She wiggle them? Yeah. <laughs> so just wiggle. It, it's a weird sensation. I'm a very germaphobic person, so obviously we took a shower. Well, uh, hopefully. You don't want to be looking at nasty ass like <laughs> black covered feet. The it things, was the. the it little... was a one and done. I haven't done it again. Do you want to? No. No. <laughs> I'll no. never say if, if so, I was like, I'm pretty sure you, you're like a closeted in foot fetish type person. So, no. Yeah, no, because uh, I've told you guys about this podcast I listen to. It's Stiff Socks. They uh, have this uh, one guy named uh, Michael Blaustein. Apparently, he's got a foot fetish and he's talked about it and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, something else he's talked about, which, all right. Do you guys think this is alien? Because apparently, he comes on his floor. Like, he just jerks off and just lets it land on the floor. I don't understand. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. The funny thing is, he doesn't even clean it up. He just leaves it there. Just sitting there. His carpet has dead children all over it. Oh my god, it's just... Oh, uh, it's a disgusting thought. But, uh, yeah, no. I mean, what about you, Unknown? You ever just... Have you nutted on the floor? No. <laughs> hey, man, it's just... Unknown's a like... I only nut in socks. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the worst. What the fuck? Has anyone people ever used that a sock? Just generally fucking garbage. Like, uh, people in the comments, have you ever used a sock to masturbate? I'm curious. Wow, you get a nice way of fucking not letting the females answer that question. Well, how, okay, how is a girl supposed to use a fucking sock? That's the question. They don't use a sock. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I mean, Chase. How the fuck is a... Uh, how would a female use a sock? That's what I'm First saying. Off. You say, way to exclude the females. And I'm like, yeah, like, how would I include them? How would they use a sock when it comes the to masturbation? females, would you ever use a sock to push yourself? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, no. Apparently, apparently some use electric toothbrushes, so. Uh, not kids, if you're listening to this, for you some way click, or click away. But uh, if your mother has an electric toothbrush, don't touch it. You never know what's on it. <laughs> Uh, I feel like so many people are gonna go into their like fucking parents' bathroom and be like, "Does my mom use an electric toothbrush?" <laughs> she might. <laughs> she might. <laughs> Stay away from the hairbrush Awkward. as well. No, apparently no. This is something I learned a while ago. But apparently, females can masturbate with like fucking uh the shower head, like the detachable ones. Oh, I've done that. Wait, you've done that? What do you mean you've done that? You like you like pleasure to woman. So I have a detachable it? shower head. So what I did was I put, it, put on it on a up low in setting. Bubble. No. Wait, what setting? I put it on a low shower head setting. Okay. So if the that. water pressure wasn't very high. Ooh, right to get down. But it was it was really really hot, and then I just basically had it on my balls while I jerked off. <laughs> I thought you were about to say like you, you like you were taking a shower with it. Well, so like a little fucking massage or some shit, Chase. Yeah. See, I feel like that's how everyone finds Honestly, out about- Honestly, you should try that. <laughs> Alright, we're not all- That's fair. I mean, I, am I the only one who doesn't have a detachable shower head? Or, or, you put it on jet mode, no, and I then don't you have put one. it in your scrum. Oh, God. See, I feel like that's how we all find out about masturbation. Like, every kid goes into a hot tub, and then the jet hits them in that area, and like, shit. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm hard. <laughs> Out the fuck. Oh, that reminds me of a story. <laughs> did you no! fuck a did you fuck a jacuzzi jet? No, no. When I was a kid, um I, I had I <laughs> You're making it seem like you I, fucked I a fucking thought, hot tub. No, 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 it, it's not sex. It's nothing sexual. 
Okay. It's just my mom ran a bath for me one day, and then I, you know, I hopped in the bath, and I was just sitting there, and I guess for some reason in my head, I just thought, I was like, you know, if I can, if there's water in a toilet, oh, and no. there's water in a tub, oh no, I can shit in a tub, right? <laughs> So, so what happened was, I just, I took a shit. I just, I let a fucking log loose, man. You I took just, shit. I just, I just let a log loose in this bathtub, and then nothing <laughs> happened. I actually, I legitimately Low. thought it got flushed. So, I was like, oh, that's cool. So, I'm just sitting there, and all of a sudden, I, I feel something fucking <laughs> bloop. <laughs> I fucking looked at it for like a solid two what? seconds, and I was like, Mom, we got a problem. <laughs> How old were you? Did you Dude, a shit? I was like 10 years old. 10 years old, and you took a shit in the fucking bath. <laughs> uh, needless to say, I've never taken shits in bathtubs <laughs> again. What, like, what? Like, did you get, like, a scooper? Like, what did you do? <laughs> like, what did I you don't know. Do? She just took me out, did something with the put, obviously scooped it out somehow. <laughs> oh, God. Scooped it out. And, uh, drained the bathtub, cleaned it, and then drew the bath again, let me in. She's like, don't <laughs> fucking do that again, or I'll beat your ass. And I was like, okay, got it. I don't think I have any more left in the tank. <laughs> Dude, just be thankful you didn't eat fucking hot Cheetos or something like that, or have fucking Taco yeah, Bell. Yeah, dude, it was just a solid fucking Lincoln log. <laughs> what the fuck did I just listen to? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we talk There's your title. <laughs> Chase used to shit in bathtubs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make a decision when I upload this whether to title it Chase shits in bathtubs or Chase fucks feet. I think we're going with the fucked a f fucked feet. I, I fucked feet. Fuck. I don't fuck feet. Get I your in all right. How about this theory? Let's say you're hooking up with a girl. All of a sudden she says fuck my feet. Would you do it? Is this like first date? First date. I say. Okay, not uh, all right. Let's go three dates in. You know, three dates normally is the first time it leads to sex. So three dates in. Maybe I'll consider it. See, then you fuck feet. If you're considering it, you fuck feet. I didn't say it was a yes, but if we're if it's like first date and she's like, oh, I want to put your cock in between my soles, I'm gonna be like, yeah, you know, probably not. See, apparently you can fuck like that spot in between your like ankle, like in between your kneecap. Apparently, people do that. You've done that before, haven't you? What? Oh, no. Okay, because you took a deep breath, and I'm like, "Have you done that before?" So yeah, no, like you know how like you kind of like bend like your like. I mean, if it's a fat lady, then you could pretty much stick a dick anywhere, and it feels good. Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> So there, there's so many. I mean, out yeah, there. Chase. I, as much as I agree with that, you'll also fucking don't want to pull out and like a piece of loot follows up. Okay. <laughs> oh god. You got that like sweaty fucking fat person smell on your wiener. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. No, I, I'm taking a shower after this even though I was just Oh god. Uh. Uh what's it called? I mean, what's your guys' opinion on shower sex? Cuz like for me, oh, dude, that's hot. That's hot, really? Yeah. I think it's wet. <laughs> Shot. Um actually, I think it's very uncomfortable. I feel like it can be. Like, the only way I feel like this would be comfortable, like, it, unless you have, like, a bathtub type shower where, like, you lay down and, like, she, like, gets on top. Oh, like, either way. But just only in a bathtub shower, I feel like it's fine. Just a regular, like, skinny shower where, like, you just only have to stand. Uh uh. Not working. My opinion. Oh, boy. I mean, you can make it work. I mean, you can make it work, but, like, unless you have the strength to, like, like carry her and just, like, do oh. it that way. I mean, like, uh, oh, I've done that. You've done that. That is some hot shit. <laughs> yeah. Being able to pick him up and throw him against the wall is the. F That's oh some Fifty God. Shades of Grey type shit. 
I wish I could just fuck him. Just fuck him at the wall, dude. It's oh my god. The best thing you can do. I bet. I bet. Honestly, I, I'm like 126 pounds. Like I, I can lift these. Gabby. Amount. Gabby. She's like, oh, you couldn't pick me up. You couldn't do that. Like, you want to find out? <laughs> yeah, see, that's the, that's the thing that fucking most women do. Like, fucking I've noticed. They're like, oh, no, you can't do this. La, 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 la. And then they get you to do it. So, like, you're like... Okay, get me to do fine, it? I'll I just it. did it. And I she just... was like, oh. Yeah, they're like, and oh, then you no. fucked. Anyways. <laughs> no, no, they like, oh, they, no, com actually they turn completely like, submissive. Yeah. See, I don't know how I feel. Like, all right. Yes, I like it when a girl can be a bit submissive. But I don't like it when they're too submissive. Or like I don't like a brat. I guess you could say too much. Like yes, and sometimes it's fine. Of if course, it you don't like a brat. You don't want to fucking be like <laughs> the assertive dominant. You want to be like the passive, or like it's vanilla. Yeah, <laughs> it's just I don't know. Sometimes when it, when it's a brat, I feel uncomfortable because she's just like she's like being like no, no, and then I don't want to be like fucking do it right now because then I feel like an ass. You know, when I was yeah, dating right. Gabby, I'm surprised none of you asked me a lot of sex questions. Alright, right, let's start right now. How many times them. did you fuck? No, no, you just, you didn't ask me anything about sex. Like, you really just didn't say anything about it. Yeah, that's because we know, like, you are like you joke about it, but you're not all about it. What, sex? Yeah. I mean, eh. I mean, like, I feel like, yes, I feel like it is an important thing to you, but, like, that's not, like, the important thing to you. No, it's not. Exactly, yeah. That's that's probably why we didn't ask. So, yeah, no, we just assumed. I mean, it doesn't have to be about Gabby, but, like, what what's the kinkiest thing you've ever tried? Like, how do you mean? How do you mean? Just anything you find kinky, like, in bed with a girl. Kinkiest thing you've ever tried. Period sex. Uh, I don't... Please tell me you wore a condom. Nope. I... Dude. Wait, what did he say? He did period he say? sex. Period sex. Oh, uh. Dude. Wait, that's that... how you get fucking HIV and fucking... Exactly. Shit, but, I mean, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> that's how you literally get AIDS. It's just... Uh, that's how you get AIDS. That's pretty much how you get HIV, which turns into AIDS, but... No. I you don't... get AIDS regardless. Like, if you have sex with somebody without a condom, you're gonna get fucking AIDS if they have it. Oh, yeah, obviously. Bleeding but... is not gonna... Like, bleeding is not gonna enhance that chance. Oh no, it is. Oh no, back me up on this one. I'm sorry, I'm playing a game. What? No, um, this, this is okay. why I say don't. Play you understand? Game. You understand when a girl's what? Right. Okay. Yeah. That there's lubrication, and that's from her body, yeah. correct? From her vagina. Mm -hmm. When you insert your penis, you know the pee hole, right? Oh, no shit, the shaft, yeah. No, the the legitimate opening where you come, you pee out of. Yeah. When you thrust into her vagina, your penis kind of bends backwards, and your pee hole opens up every time you thrust in. Alright. So all that lubrication is getting inside of your pee hole. See, this is why you fuck with condoms. Oh, fucking condoms have lubrication too. Yeah, I know, but, like, the condoms, like, th there's a barrier between your penis and everything like that, so it's just, yeah. But what's it called? No, see, I was told condoms make it hard, like, they make it hard to, like, actually, like, come, because there's something... Yes, because you don't, there's not a lot of feeling. See, if anything, uh, like... Because, like, while you feel good, it doesn't feel good in the right way. If anything, that's an advantage to all virgins. Like, don't fuck without a condom, you know? You don't want a kid, but also, hey, you could last longer. Fuck with condoms, you know? She'll think you're... She'll think you're good. I'm also desensitized, so I have to fuck without that's a condom, or I won't come. You watch. It's also true. It's also true. You... Like, how many... All right... I've, I jerk off once a day. Once a day. How many hours do you think you spend on porn a week? A week? Like, all right, are we going with hours or minutes on this one? Because, like, on a get... oh, we're definitely going with hours. Okay. If we're gonna talk if we're talking a week. Yeah. How many hours on porn? If you count videos, like video searching or surfing, because I always I search like at least seven to fifteen videos every time I jerk off, because I gotta find that perfect one. Okay. Or if I feel like I just need to 
busting not really fast. I just go to an old reliable video. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. You always uh, have that one video you always could go back to in case you need a fucking quick nut. True. 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 Facts. Yeah. So, uh, what's it called? So I would say, if I just couldn't get that nut off, if I'm like basically self raping myself. Jesus Christ! No, I don't. All right then. Um, I'd say about hour and a half. Hour and a half a week of porn. No, 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 no. That's just on one day. One like, day. Just raping myself. You. On a quick nut day that I just want to bust a fat nut really fast, probably five, five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes. Jesus Christ. I mean. So I would say in a week. Yeah. On a total amount of time. You're probably talking around five hours. Five hours on porn. Goddamn. A week. Yeah. Now, uh, Jesus Christ. Can you get through a full porn video? Yeah. I have multiple times. Really? The whole. Because th- some of those are like 30 minutes. You can go through the whole 30 minutes. I've watched a two hour, three hour porn video. You watched a two. Unknown, uh, what's the longest one you've watched and made it through? Like in one sitting or multiple? Just like. Yo, you're saying you've gotten through multiple porn videos in one go, like multiple 30 minute ones? No, I'm saying that depending on whether or not how long the video is, whether or not it's like 10 hours or some shit. So, okay. Let, let, all right, longest video you've watched, Unknown? 10 hours. 10 hours. Did you get through with it? No, no, it's ten hours. Never mind. That's a stupid question. <laughs> no, I, I meant like longest one that you like went through. Like you just kept on, kept on beating the meat. Like, that's what you mean, like one, like one in one sitting, or yeah, in one sitting, just yeah. Oh, and probably like fucking three or four. Three or four. How do you? I feel. <laughs> you go. You stroke at the same speed as they're doing it in the video. I mean, that's understandable. It also depends what they're doing in the video. To true. Be fair. true. True, true. And when they stop in the video, I stop. Yeah. And then you let the story run. Mm-hmm. But, dude, who what? I don't understand. Who the fuck watches porn for the story? Who the fuck? Sometimes it's pretty funny. It's... It's... There's been porn videos where it's just it's so unbelievably like weird or funny. I just stop jerking off and watch. What the fuck, dude? No, it's just it's so bad acting. Like I understand they're not trying to act, but like well, I forgot my money. Acting. What the fuck, bitch? Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. So no, I don't. Her I don't dad's watch. asleep. Be quiet. Her dad's asleep. No, no, or like I've uh, what's oh it called? God, can I sleep in your room tonight? I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> no, no, but no. Apparently, there's somewhere it's just like mom's in the other room, and it's at a camera angle where like the mom's just fucking vacuuming. Like, and I'm pretty sure the vacuum cleaner's not even on. It's just sh- the mom's just pushing it around while the fucking two are fucking. Like, what the fuck has? Oh, you don't hear it go off. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear it go off. I'm just saying that like. What type of situation is The vacuum. That? The vacuum. I see why they call you Mrs. Hoover. <laughs> no. Nobody. Oh, come on. A couple porn stars I've watched that I can watch consistently. I mean, I uh, let's see here. I'll, I'll, name, name. I'll name five. My top five porn stars. Top five? Okay. Oh, yeah. Most of mine are just foreign. Foreign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's, it's different. Um, I'm just built different. I think you just jerk off different. Probably. Oh, dude, because there's so much good variety. I mean, to be fair, I'm also the one that enlightened you into anime, and then you're like, oh. Mm. But what if it's, but what if it's girls doing kitty things now? No, fuck, dude, don't go into. Anime. Anyway, anyway, the porn stars, porn stars. <laughs> My solid porn stars to go to are Mia Malkova, Tori Black, Cagney Lynn Carter. The fuck. Lena Paul and Lena Sky. I've only ever heard of Mia Malkova, and that's because of Swagger Souls. Like, uh, she was on Lover Host. So that's how I know of Mia Malkova. I have a pookie, or er, pookie. I have a pocket pussy modeled after Mia Malkova. Is that the same one you've always had, like when we first met you? Like, you mm-hmm. talked about. Really? 
Dude, I've seen it before. That <laughs> me and Malkova has some weird ass pussy. Anyway. <laughs> Just the outside. The inside's yeah, different. Yeah, the outside, yeah. Yeah, no. Do you remember your first time actually seeing a pussy? Yes. Dude. I, like, growing first up... First time I saw boobs, I was 12. First time you saw... Really? You were 12? Mm-hmm. Fucking... You, you know that story. What? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, What's a, how old no, were you? A nun? No, that's when I was at a party at uh, Perry... Or, so I was at Perry the lake. Platypus's house. <laughs> no, we call it... It's Perry Lake. Perry That's what Lake. it's called. Alright, man. But we went to Party Cove, and this one chick was super fucking drunk and trying to flash a dude she liked from I'm across, like, seven boats. Jesus. I was just standing, like, right... She was a boat next to us, and I was just standing okay. there looking at her. She just ripped her shirt up. I'm like, oh! <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't no. like mine. No, dude, growing up, I always thought, like, the vagina... Was like right where like a dude's penis is. I thought it was just right there in the center. I didn't know it was fucking that far back. It was. It was something. I know, dude. The first time I went to finger girl, I thought I went too far and it was in her ass. <laughs> She's just enjoying it. You're like, oh god, I I need to wash these hands when this is done. Yeah, I know. I thought I went in her ass. I even asked her. I'm like, oh fuck, did I just go in your ass? And she's like, what? No, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Damn, what if she actually said dumbass? Just like, no, she did. <laughs> she, called you, she called you a dumbass when you were fingering. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. It's my first time. <laughs> How old were you? How old was I? Oh, shit. So, my first time actually fingering somebody was with Catherine. Okay. Like, so. So, I was about. Eight, I was 18. 18? Really? That's my first time fingering a girl. Damn. The no. rest were mostly just me getting wasted at a party and getting <coughs> raped. Uh, I mean, there's a there's a time and a place for that one. Uh, not I mean, I, I still had sex. I just basically got drunk as fuck. I remember a girl woke up next to that girl, and I went home. Yeah. It is, it is strange. I mean, like, see, that's why, like, if I were to go to a party, I, I wouldn't hook up with anyone there, because I... I know a lot of people have been drinking, and <clears throat> it's just, you don't want to wake up in bed with someone and then being like, oh my god, did we fucking sleep together? And then being like, you took advantage of me while I'm drunk, so I'm just like, that is one of my fears. I will not sleep with anyone if they're intoxicated. That is my rule. Mm -mm. Too risky. I think it's okay if you're also intoxicated. But you can't, she can't be intoxicated and you be completely sober. That's fucked up. Oh, it is fucked up. I 100% agree. That's why party situations are very... They're very iffy. Very iffy. I don't know. But, uh, I've woken up to a girl. I'm like, oh, no. Did I actually have sex with you? Oh, God. I do, like, a fucking triple take. I'm like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, no. There, there is this fucking uh, Australian TikToker that I see. He, like, w it, like, does skits, and then he wakes up from, like, a party and stuff like that. And then he sees, like, a girl's hair. is like... Please at least be a seven. Please be at least a seven. Pulls the bed sheet. He's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. But now, uh, back to the whole, the whole fingering thing. I've said this story before. Uh, this girl wanted me to finger her while she was driving. And, dude. Like, what you should have. I, dude, like, she was driving. Like, I don't want her For to be what? like, have an orgasm so, and just, like, a, kill me. Gotten a blowjob while I was driving. Yeah, that's called roadhead, bro. What the fuck? You've gotten roadhead? Just, what the fuck? Roadhead's pretty great. I mean, I don't drive, it, it's so it's pretty. It's pretty fucking great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're just flexing it. You're like, it was fucking amazing. Goddamn. I did. I, I took I took country roads. So you, took country roads? you can imagine how good that was. See, I feel like roadhead's okay. Like if you're on the highway, like if you're going on a straight line, oh. but, like if you're just like driving around, like going to a restaurant, taking those turns. Fuck that. Oh, you're gonna give me head? All right, I know a street that has a lot of potholes. <laughs> No, I mean, like, <laughs> plus I feel like fingering a girl while she's driving, like she's she's basically sitting on her f like vagina. So it's just like I would literally have to dig my hands underneath her pants. She would arc her back, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Chase, remember? You, you really don't know how fucking the woman body works. No, no, I know. I, I'm a virgin. Same thing with with guys. Like if you're sitting down, like in a. I wouldn't say crisscross, but if your back is straight up and you're knees are flush with your waist your wiener is going to be really really small true true 
So what you do is you flex your ass muscles, and you fucking uh, shift your waist up, and your dick gets bigger. Okay. Actually, uh, what's it called? I sent you this video, like, uh, of the Stiff Socks podcast through TikTok, where, like, they interviewed the, uh, the person from the Bang Bus. And a little tip that he told someone, uh, one of the cast members, apparently, if you flex your abs, it's it makes you last longer. So. I yeah. Know. I never knew that. Because that gives your body something else to work with. Yeah, I never knew that. So it's just anyone out there listening, you want to last longer, flex your abs. Even if you don't have any, just flex. Trust me, my first blowjob lasted longer than 30 Yugi minutes. It's going to be okay. Experience. Experience. Dude, I don't know. There's some people out there that are just like one pump chumps. That's just, and as soon as like, I'm pretty sure there's people who literally like nut before anything happens. Just like the, the whole process of like them like thinking like it's about to happen is enough for them to actually eject. That's fucking crazy because I've had sex before and I had to fake an orgasm. <laughs> I've actually had to fake orgasms because I feel bad. Really? Ooh. Yes, because they can't. They just can't get me to come, and I'm like, I'm sorry, but fuck, so I just home. can't. Sometimes girls fake orgasms for you, even if you don't know it. Most most likely, uh, girls fake one for you. I've never oh, had a hard to say. girl fake an orgasm. Are you sure, Chase? Do you really that's think hard. a girl would talk to you and be like, "I faked an orgasm"? It's pretty hard to fake an orgasm where you're literally having a seizure. Oh yeah, no, I saw that. Like, apparently, if you like do it good enough to a girl, like even after she'll like her leg will still be shaking. Yeah, I yeah. have made sure a girl actually couldn't walk for thirty minutes after we were done. Bro, and that wasn't from my penis. That was just from me eating her out. Do you know how much of a fucking game you have to have to do that? I just I'm like sure. eating pussy. Uh, Every single time I think of like eating pussy, I just think of Dave Chappelle's comedy stand. Where it's, like, it's definitely an acquired taste. No one just grabs like the salt and be like, needs a bit of salt. So just. And I'm not gonna tell you what I do because I fucking learned it myself, motherfucker. <laughs> oh no, no, 100. percent I feel like you wouldn't be able to eat pussy anymore. No. Why? Why do you say that? You probably wouldn't get past the smell. I mean, I feel like if a girl takes care, like takes care of that area, maybe. Doesn't matter. I mean. Doesn't matter. I feel like it's the same with Once guys. Once they start getting wet, it, that smell immediately comes back. I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I don't know. Who's to say? And unknown, I'm going to describe a pussy smell as best I can, and I almost guarantee you're going to agree with it. It almost mm. smells like onions. Onions? I can I can deal with the like, smell it, of onions. It's a really. weird... It's like caramelized onions that isn't sweet. No, can you vouch for that? Not really. I mean, I know he gets it, but like, not really. But from from my like girlfriend's kind of like part. I think Chase is just dating someone who just eats raw onions, just like takes oh, and eats them like been apples. Every girl I've been with, it's been pretty similar smell. It, it means you have a type. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe that's like all I can smell on a pussy. Fuck. <laughs> Which I don't mind. I actually like onion smell. Weird enough. I don't like the onion yeah, smell, but I, th it's all right. I can deal with it. It's not. It's not bad. Well, I mean, I eat raw onions occasionally. You eat raw onions? I fucking love onions, dude. What the well, fuck? For you, I happen to eat raw limes. Oh, I eat raw limes as well, dude. Fuck, dude. Every Mexican eats raw limes. No, nope. my mom and I actually. I got it from my mom. Bro, my mom eats uh, raw red onions. And then I started doing it, and it just sounds like you know this is pretty good. Holy dude, shit, dude! If you eat raw onions like that, or just tomatoes as well, what the fuck? Yep, I used to make uh, onion and cheese sandwiches. Ugh, onion and cheese. I know it sounds awful, but it was pretty fucking. It was pretty solid. Dude, you don't know how nasty. That to sounds. me, anyway, it's just yeah. I know it sounds gross. To almost everyone I say it to. Yeah, it. it but for my so taste, nasty. I actually love it. Jesus, yeah, no, I, I, I don't think I can eat <clears throat> that. No, fuck that. Uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> or peanut butter and onion sandwich? Oh, no. Actually, I recently started uh, going into peanut butter and banana sandwiches. They're actually really good. Peanut butter and banana. I recommend it. Try it. That's why there's protein shakes based around it. What the fuck? <laughs> no, it's just, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I was picky growing up. Like, I didn't, uh, at first, you know, when you're a kid, you're just like, you think you hate certain, like, things without even trying it. Uh, I thought I'd hate uh, jelly, so for the longest time, I just ate peanut butter sandwiches with no uh, with no jelly. 
I was not a picky kid. You put food in front of me, I ate it because I was polite. Even see, if it was you know. awful, I still ate it. Okay, yeah, see, like, I'm trying to explore what I'm into now. Like, I don't, I like, now lettuce, tomatoes, spinach, and all that, like, they're all right. There's, like, some certain veggies that I don't fuck with, like onions. I don't know, I don't really fuck with onions a lot. Or, like, olives. Mm. I don't know. Like I can that. eat onions on fucking anything. Dude, I can't. I, onions, I feel like sometimes they overpower, like, the, the food you're eating. So it's just, no. Oh, they just make the food better. No. See, like... On a Green burger. onions, white onions, oh, yellow okay. onions. I'm pretty sure that pickles red are fruits, onions. right? Uh, yeah, technically. Yeah, no, dude, I don't, I don't fuck with pickles. I like most fruits other than tomatoes and pickles. Oh, pickles are so fucking good too. Dude. I get those small chilled pickles that you put in the fridge, bro. And they're about the size of like your pinky. They're so fucking delicious. Bro, I bet you fucking drink pickle juice, don't you? Uh, I did when I was sick. When you were sick? Yes. Dude, I'd throw up instantly. If I was sick and had to drink pickle juice, I would throw up instantly. Yeah, when I had a fever, I would drink pickle juice. Dude, just the sheer smell of pickle juice is enough to make me throw up. It is disgusting, in my opinion. It literally smells and tastes like a fucking pickle. I don't know what you're talking about. Just, it's a pickle in liquid form. I, it's, oh my god, it's so nasty. I but here's the thing with me. A lot of, so almost every, actually no, every liquid I drink has to be cold. Like, 32 degrees or below. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't... For some reason, my body just rejects warm liquid. I mean, yeah, that's fair. So, coffee is hard for me to drink warm. Ugh. I mean, there is iced coffee for a reason. Yeah. yeah. I do... Yeah, I get iced coffee. I do iced tea. Even though it's supposed to be hot. I mean, I, I do drink... Uh, at restaurants, black hot tea, green hot tea... Yeah. Chai tea, whatever they have, really. That's fair. But right. my prefer is iced everything. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, I like cold drinks. Uh, I, I have some questions right here on a uh, on a notepad that uh, that I'm ready to go for. This was supposed to be Danny's questions because uh, me and Danny were supposed to do a podcast, but he got fucking lazy. Never answered my calls, so uh, fuck Danny right now. I doubt he's listening to this because we're 52 minutes in. But uh, all right, first question. How many first graders can you take on in a fight if they came on like waves of twenty? But every every five like let's say every like five waves, a fifth grader comes out in the mix. How many waves can you take on? All of them. The fuck? I mean, like you said, first graders, right? Yeah, first graders. And yeah, then, no, I'm gonna beat the ever living fuck out of all <laughs> these first graders. Are yeah. you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna ground pound every single one of these little shits. And that fifth grader is going to come in thinking he's hot fucking garbage. And I'm going to kick him in the balls. And you're going to realize I fucked up and he's dead. <laughs> yeah. But like, how many waves do you think you could do? Like, Think about it like zombies. Like, Yeah, I'll, fucking, I'll take all of them. Dude, no, but you got to also like, re- remember, you have like stamina. There's almost... there's yeah, Yes. Can I take any sort of substance before no. I begin this fight? No, just you, like, all of a sudden, Don't just, like, them all. they just start charging you. Why should we knock them all out? What the fuck? All just, right, well, then I'm going to use my handy-dandy crystal pocket meth, and then I'm just going to go to fucking town on these kids. <laughs> all, right, then, I, I, all right, then, I guess. <clears throat> next question. Even, even without a substance, I'll fucking knock them all out. The fuck? All right, next question, which is it's a very popular one that, like, was all over the internet, and I'm curious on your answer, because i only ever seen one good answer to this, but... If your mom was in your girlfriend's body and your girlfriend was in your mom's body and you had to fuck one of them to turn them back into like back to the bodies, which one would you do? Girlfriend in my mom's body because oh? I had a stepmom get fucked on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's, That's a good answer. Fuck. No, what about you, Anand? I said I just said I'll go for both. I said I'll go for just... The one good answer I, that I heard for this is the person said he would knock out his mom and his girlfriend's body so like she wouldn't be conscious. Then it, it's technically his girlfriend's body. Oh, no. Fuck that. And then. Let be conscious. <laughs> no, Jesus Christ. Okay. I feel like we're about to get a lot of hate for that, so it's just okay. All right. What about this? Would you rather suck ninety nine percent of like of a dick? Like, let's say you. Would you rather give the ninety nine percent of a blowjob or the last one percent? Last one percent. Last one percent. Yep. So you're taking the low. I'll take. I'll take the cum shot. <laughs> I'll take the cum shot. What about you, Anon? Would you rather uh, do the first ninety nine percent of a, a blowjob or do the last one percent? He's thinking. Would they have to finish? Yes, the last one percent is them nutting. 
like in the mouth? Yes, in your mouth. You're, you're doing the last 1%, so like 100% is them ejaculating into your mouth. Dude, neither. neither. No, you have to choose. Would you rather do the first 99% or the last 1%? Neither. <laughs> Chase went, to, he was like, I'm doing the last 1%. Why would you go with the 1%, Chase? Because I'm not sucking a dick for fucking forever. I mean, it doesn't say forever. You're like, I mean, I can, al I can always just run. spit out his fucking load. You understand this, right? I can always just put mouthwash in my face after I'm done. But, but then you will have, t like, you would have another man's jizz in your mouth for a short period. Yeah, well, I could also just sit there and suck a dude's dick for like 30 right, minutes and have his pre come in my mouth the entire time. Yeah, no, I'll just take the fucking load and be done. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna answer because you haven't answered. I'll answer when you answer. I didn't, and it doesn't. You don't go. specify uh, that I have to swallow his load, so I can always just sure, spit you it out as swallow. well. Fair. That's very fair. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that was. I mean, I mean, that's all I have on the notepad. I mean, on the no. What? No. What's your answer? <laughs> Wait. What's a known answer? I said one percent. Go ahead. One percent. See, it's very tricky because, like, all right, no, 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 how no, long? No, it's not tricky at all, yeah. actually. No, no, how long does this person last, though? Because if they only last like no, now you ask the question when it's you. Huh? <laughs> you guys could ask a question because if this dude only yeah, lasts you three seconds, you. you can do it for two seconds and then back away and be like, all right, I don't have to fucking. I, it was only two seconds. This person's gonna have to take a load that's probably gonna take him like three seconds to finish. It doesn't everything matter. Off. You're still sucking his dick for ninety nine percent of the time. <laughs> but like, here's the thing. Even if it's the last one percent, if he's like nutting, you have to wait until he's done nutting. Let's say that like he's a one pump chump. It lasts like three seconds. You didn't say how much I have to get it in my mouth. <laughs> no, no, no. Like you're doing the last one hundred percent, which the one, like the last one percent. The one percent is just letting, making him finish. That's it. I'm not doing anything <laughs> else. The extra's all on him. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. We we put too much thought into this question. But or or. Just pull an absolute alpha power move, and when he's nutting, make it go faster by just grabbing the base and just fucking jerking him <laughs> up so he can get it all out. Oh, dude, man. And then just spit it back in his mouth and call it a day. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Fucking a better plan. Fucking keep doing what Chase said, but instead of that, pull back and then aim the fucking head towards Yugi. <laughs> no! What the fuck? Oh, man. Here you go, <laughs> buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Have you guys Here's ever... your splooge. <laughs> oh no, that just makes me think. Would you have you guys ever taken a shower in like like uh, the locker rooms like in school? Yes. No, but we didn't have any. Dude, every time I was done with gym class. Dude, no. I... I feel like that's like a fucking alpha move that you can do. Just like take a shower and just walk out butt ass naked and just start walking around. That's a fucking power. Yeah, we move. had we had one of those kids. Oh yeah, no. Our, this I mean, kid... I was I was generous enough. I always brought a towel when I was done. I would just wrap myself in a towel and go to my locker. But no, we had this one kid who just had the fucking biggest dick in the locker room. Would turn the corner, you better duck before it hits you. Yeah, no, that because that thing fucking dented lockers when he swung. And it's just like, holy fuck! Okay, look who's here. <laughs> See, we had a kid like that. Like this dude was shredded. Like he was a he was a senior. And like I, I'm, I'm talking. He was fucking shredded, and he had like he even had tattoos. I shit you not. This dude was like 17 or 18 with tattoos, like with like five like actual pieces. And you can get tats at 18. I know, but like he got him when he was 17. His parents signed off on him. Tats but, at 18. Oh. My brother's younger and he yeah. got a tattoo. But uh, yeah, no, he had like full on like pieces, and they were really cool. But uh, yeah, no, like every single time we got done with basketball class, he'd just take a shower and then my locker was right next to his. So as soon as like I'm getting changed and all that, I'll like turn and then all of a sudden there's this fucking <laughs> there's this dude TV. just fully naked, just buff as shit. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to turn the other way. And that's how I know I'm not gay. Anyway. Jesus fucking Christ, Jerome, put your pet iguana away. <laughs> put your pet iguana away. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Put no. that motherfucker on a leash before it bites me. Like, what the fuck, man? Uh, One of these days, you're gonna see the guy come out with like four fucking heads, and he's gonna be like, General Kenobi. General Kenobi. <laughs> oh, nah, god. usually when the guy in my locker room swung the corner, I was like, and this is where the fun begins. Oh god, no. And then we all just get our towels and we start whipping the fuck out of the Oh, heads. dude, those towels hurt like hell, dude. 
Oh, oh yeah, no, people stopped. That guy stopped turning that locker room like he had the biggest fucking dick. Because he did. He knew it, too. He knew he had the biggest wiener dick. on the team. It's pretty fucking elongated. Like, I swear to God, that thing was slapping his kneecaps. <laughs> what? It's like, how in the fuck is that on a human being? Dude, what the fuck? It was ridiculous. Like, this man was hung like a fucking horse. And we were, we all knew it. And we were like, oh, great. Here comes fucking Timothy with his Timothy. massive wiener. About to round the corner. Jesus. Like, I swear to God, if you, if you didn't fucking duck, this man would take your head off, literally. See, like, at first I thought you were, like, being sarcastic. Now, like, did, did he actually have that big of a dick? Yes, he had a massive <laughs> fucking wiener. Like, we, we were all... <laughs> It was like it was so big. We we were kind of we felt bad for him. Well, yeah. Like dude. there's no way. Like when you get that motherfucker erect, do you just become a vegetable with all the blood loss going to your fucking cock? Dude, no, it's hard. Like, dude, can you imagine like the first time he like ends up with a girl? He just takes oh, off. Oh, the his first pants. time we saw it too, we were like, oh, that poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> that poor girl. We all made fun of him for it too. We're like, oh, here comes fucking Long John. <laughs> Long John. He's like, fuck you guys, fuck you guys. What if he like, like my, dick's, my dick's bigger for like at least we don't turn into a fucking cripple when we get erect. <laughs> Dude, what if he like tried to square up with you, but he used his dick as a weapon? Like he would just like throw uh, we, we would die. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's like a fucking sledgehammer coming down on me. What are you talking about? The fucking shit go to club. <laughs> the shit Dude, this. Oh, that, oh, that poor girl he dated. That poor fucking girl. Did she ever say anything about his dick? No, we just never talked to her. We were scared to. <laughs> we were just like. He broke her throat. <laughs> oh, no. No wonder she always has a fucking gangster lean when she walks into school. <laughs> she was that girl? Oh, God. I hate the wannabe thugs. They're annoying. Very much annoying. All right. We've hit an hour on this, an hour and a minute. Is there any last minute stories we want to go over before we end this? None that I can think of, unless provoked. Unless provoked, okay. What about you, My Nuno? penis is big. Yeah, not as big as fucking Timothy. <laughs> I mean, real quick before we wrap up, what's your definition of big, Unknown? <laughs> well, according to his girlfriend. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> It's a little according to your girlfriend. It's a little bit above five. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's what she was fucking explaining to about the whole fucking what's good for average. Oh god. No, what, what he's asking is what in your mind is considered a fucking big dick. Yeah, because he said you're big. What do you, what do you consider big? Like for the average person, I'd say eight. Oh, eight, but, eight, eight inches. No, eight or more. But no, actually, surprisingly. Yugi, you, no. you got fucking four more to go. Don't say <laughs> that shit. Eight inches? Like, bitch, it's half of you. Shut <laughs> no. up. No, no, no. I'm above four. I'm above four. I will say that. I'm not going to reveal my dick size to all the people who are listening right now. It's above four. I will say that. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. The fact. You really think eight inches is considered big? Yeah, eight inches is a pretty big dick. Fucking Christ, dude, no. Or, 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 Google, you Google eight inches, Yugi. I know. I mean, I'm, dude, I'm six and a half, and my said <laughs> eight inches. You're just like, oh my god. See, like, I feel like you can brag about having a big dick if you have like a little slight above average one. But like, if you have Kay. that big of a dick, no. Nah. Yugi, what's your shoe size? My shoe size? Uh, I think I wear uh, 11, 11 and eleven and a half. It's bigger than your foot. What? An eight-inch penis is bigger than your foot. Oh, I know. I know. I know that at 100%. That's why I said you consider that big, because, like, I'm shocked that that's what you consider big, because I feel like, eh, I don't know. Eight inches on my arm is from my middle finger, which is the longest finger I have. Yeah. Probably down to... Three inches below my wrist. That's an eight-inch penis. That you know, is a I think eight inches is large. I think that there's a difference between big and large. That's what I'm saying. Um, oh, if we're talking large, I'm talking about Timothy. <laughs> Timothy was like my elbow to my fucking middle finger. 
Like, dude, this man just was like, what fucking... the fuck? I'm doing that measurement. He, he walked and it just fucking slapped his knees. I swear to God. Well, where do you keep that thing? What the fuck? Exactly, dude. It's, f we were all fucking flabbergasted seeing this dude's tick. You can't wear shorts. That's one thing you can't do ever. You can't wear shorts after Anyways, that. Anyways, gay dudes in the party hear that. Chase is giving out free cock ratings. Yeah. Facts, you know. I, I guess. Ever... Don't send me pictures, <laughs> but... I guess if I get them. If you guys want to know Chase's snap, link down below. 100%. You guys can send him nah, a No, no, no. Get him in the party, you know. Have him get... Just join half chub. Chase in the Discord. No, no, no. Just let him get half chub, and I want to hear him do a helicopter based on that helicopter. noise. I'll let you know. Chase, I don't think you should be saying half chub. Remember the first time you sent a dick pic to a girl? I was I, I wasn't even at half chub. <laughs> yeah, you were. No, no, way, I was no. at I was at soft dog. <laughs> he was he was flaccid the first <laughs> time. I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> I'm a grower, not a shower as well. So I just That's sit a her a fucking I just sit her a fucking monkey peeking out the trees. You know, fucking Diglett coming out of the <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Diglett! And the funny thing is, it's sad, but you got unadded right after. Yep, yep, I did. I also got a nude back, though, so. Oh, you got a nude back, then unadded? Ah, that's the one. Yep. Uh, oh, I, that makes no sense. <laughs> I'll, I'll send him something, but then I'll unadd him. Yeah, she's like, ah, oh, pity. Ah, <laughs> pity. I'll give him a pity nude. I'll give him a pity nude. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, that was horrible. Ah, that sounds like it. You're an idiot. <laughs> Alright. I think that's wraps it up. We went over a little like seven minutes over, but uh, that's fine. I'll try to upload this as soon as you seven can. Minutes over. How much how much on average do you fucking record these? Wait, what? How much on average do you record these? They're supposed to be normally an hour. So I don't want it to be too long. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions for us that you guys want us to answer, I'd love to do a uh, little YouTube segments where like we read through comments. You know, so you guys can ask us anything. So if you made it this far, comment something you want us to go over, a certain topic or a certain question you guys for have. Oh, that that made English sense. Okay, then any questions you want us to like answer? Because uh, I might not have that many stories, but Chase does. So if you want any questions for him to answer me, just let us know. Comment them down below. We'll try to go through a list. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for another episode of the Trinity Cast. Bye. Uh, you really don't know how to fucking. <laughs>